Hello everyone, and welcome back once again to Let's Play Cataclysm Dark Days Ahead with Frozen Foxy. Last time, Trucky McTruckerson got his face trucked in, and uh, he got killed miserably in the midst of a zombie horde. Sadly, playing on hardcore means that you're pretty hardcore screwed. <laughs> yeah. Um, I'm going to go ahead and do a character that was requested by uh, someone. I, I thought it was kind of an interesting suggestion. It was, um, I think his name was Lord of All Pokemon Chaz. Correct me if I'm wrong, that's completely fine. But um, he suggested that I should make a character that is um, similar to myself. Um, so I was like, okay, sure, I can do that. I just already have another character that's going right now, maybe uh, maybe afterwards. So um, I'm going to go ahead and start making some kind of character that seems to be sort of ish myself. I think that would be uh, kind of interesting, I suppose. Um, I think I think it would also be interesting if some people started making uh, random requests for character types, like uh, tell me to do I don't know David Bowie next, something like that, just something random. Um, I, I think that would be uh, be kind of interesting. So um, I would say I'm I'm a little bit intelligent. Give myself a ten, more or less. I, I don't know exactly where the intelligence scale ranks on here. I've got an IQ of 142 in real life so uh, I think so I've got okay perception skills um, I'm not particularly dexterous or strong so I'm gonna leave those as normal um, let's see what would I be um, I'm not really uh, nearsighted I'm definitely farsighted though let's see here uh, without reading glasses, blah blah blah. No, actually I'm nearsighted. I completely always mix those up. Um, let's see here. I'm a fairly heavy sleeper. It takes a lot to wake me up. Um, not illiterate. <laughs> I'm not perfect. I'm not perfect. I will admit that, but I'm not illiterate. Um, my hearing's okay, I would imagine. Sometimes I'm an insomniac, because, uh, I'll stay up and play games on the weekends at times, and that's normally when I get most of my recording done. So I'll just be staying up and can't go to sleep because I'm just playing games. Um, I'm definitely forgetful, so we'll go with that. I've, I've got an extremely, extremely forgetful uh, personality. <laughs> if you've got uh, a really unique name, I might remember your name, but if your name is just like uh, Tom or John or Jane or something like that, I will probably forget your name unless you tell it to me like four or five times. I'm sorry, that's just how I am. Um, let's see here. I don't do alcohol and drugs, so I don't know if I'm a lightweight or not. <laughs> I could be. Um, I'm definitely trigger happy. When, when I go and fire guns, I love to, uh, to shoot shit off. It's fun. <laughs> um, let's see here. Um, I'm not smelly, I take showers. Um, not schizophrenic. Not jittery, not a hoarder. I'm um, definitely not a savant. Don't have mood swings. I had a weak stomach, kind of. I, I am I am totally crap with milk, because my stomach will be hurting if I drink any milk. Maybe I should take that. Let's see, you're likely to throw up from food poisoning, alcohol, etc. Okay, yeah, that, that seems about right. I'll go with weak stomach. Um... I think that's all we're going to go ahead and do for that. Whoops. I did not mean to go back there. I have done that twice now. I think. Maybe. That that could have been one of the times when the game crashed. I don't remember because it crashed a bunch. I, I really think it was because of randomly spawning uh, NPCs that the game was crashing. Um, I'm an optimist for the most part. Uh... Let's see here. I'm not generally quick. I wouldn't say that. Definitely not fleet-footed or parkour expert. Mm, can't say I'm a fast healer or a light eater. I like to eat. Eating's yum. Um, I'm pain resistant. I, I've had surgery where um, the painkillers didn't kick in and I felt the entire thing and I just kind of 
sat there staring at it, and I was like, whatever. And then I started bleeding, and I was like, oh my god, I'm going to pass out. I am I am so faint at the sight of my own blood. No, just can't do it. Um, let's see here. I'm not a fast reader. You all know that by now. I, I like to slowly read through things. Um, not tough, not thick skin, definitely not a pack mule. I'm a pretty fast learner, for the most part. I can learn uh, new games and stuff. Like uh, this game, I had never played um, before the day I started recording. Like I, I played one or two times with like two different characters, and then I just started playing. So I learned this game pretty quick, and there's there's a lot to learn to play a game like this. Um, definitely not a drunken master. Let's see here. Not any better at melee. Better at recovering. No. Um, definitely not any animal empathy for me. I'm not terrifying, or at least I don't think I am. Um, not particularly self-aware, I would say. <laughs> uh, not a masochist. No light step for me. I wish I was thiefy, but I'm not. Um, not a cannibal. I can be a skilled liar sometimes, because I work in tech support. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm going to actually take that. <laughs> that seems about right. Okay, um, lab technician is probably as close as it gets to being uh, technical support, but I don't wear a lab coat, so I don't know. Nah, I think I'm going to leave that out. We're just going to continue on. Let's see here. Um, I know a little bit about firearms, so we'll go ahead and put that on. Um, I like archery, I like computers, uh, electronics. Um, what else do we got? I'm not good at cooking. I'm horrible at cooking. Um, can be good at speech, I suppose. And that is probably about it. I would imagine. Yeah. I might take this archery off because I haven't done any archery in a long time. I'll just go ahead and put that in driving because, yeah, I drive. Alright, so this is going to be me, I guess. <laughs> Let's see how it goes, huh? Watch the game crash. I can't do this. What the? Are you kidding me? This is totally the same spot that Trucky McTruckerson was originally at. Because these benches are smashed. This totally has to be the same spot. Yeah. We, we are almost at exactly the same area that Trucky McTruckerson died. Okay. Well, that's random. And this NPC was not here last time we were here. This is, uh, this is the place where there's lava outside, I believe. If I am... Yeah. Okay. That's random. Which means that there's no nails here. Let's, let's see who this is. This is Isaiah Martin. At least we've got a shelter. Well, what should we do now? Uh, I don't know. Look for supplies and other survivors, I guess? Huh, okay. Bye. Well, this guy is no fun. Alright, let's, uh, let's go ahead and check out this, uh, this console here. This console, uh, actually is always accessible, and I've never actually looked at it, and I figured, uh, might as well. Let's check out what the emergency message is, because this is something I would totally do. Greetings, citizen. A biological attack has taken place and a state of emergency has been declared. Emergency personnel will be aiding you shortly. To ensure your safety, please follow the below steps. 1. Do not panic. 2. Remain inside the building. 3. Seek shelter in the basement. 4. Use the provided gas masks. And 5. Await further instructions. Too bad there's no gas masks because someone probably took them already. And, um, I don't think we're going to find anything downstairs, considering that, um, Truckee came and took most of the stuff. I'm actually going to pick up one of these 2x4s, and I am going to hopefully be able to smash a little bit better with this 2x4. Alright. 
And now let's go ahead and grab these nails here. Sorry, Trucky, that you ended up dead. But, you know, such is the will of nature. Grab this rock here, and we are going to craft ourselves a nail board. Going to pick up the nail board, and we are now wielding a nail board. Lovely. Go ahead and close this evac center just in case something decides to come back here. And we know there's a whole bunch of zombies um, in town here. We also know that uh, Trucky pulled a cougar over this way. So I should probably not go this way. Um, go somewhere completely different. My perception is down. Oh, the cougar is definitely still here. But my perception is down because of the sun at the moment. Um, you know what? I think we're just going to leave. We are going to get the hell out of here because um, this is a dangerous area. Um... I might want to go down and grab some stuff off of those scientists. Also, what the hell is that tea? What is that? A strange temple. I want to go there. Is this a farm? Yeah, it's a farm. Um, last time we went to a farm, there was a whole bunch of spiders and crap. And also a lot of zombies in the barn. But, you know what, let's, um, let's go and see if we can't get to this farm without... Oh yeah, the mosquitoes, I forgot about those. Okay. Okay. This is kind of weird, being in exactly the same place that we were with Trucky. I was not expecting to, uh, spawn so near to where Trucky was. There's even little blood spots on the road from where Trucky had been uh, killing random stuff. Alright, well, we are going to head up this way. Um, try to avoid these swamps as much as possible. Uh, looks like I'm going to go straight through swamp land. There's a forest here. I'm going to just try and head through this forest and hopefully avoid any dangerous things that could be in here. Uh, seems okay so far. I think we're, uh, we're gonna make it to these fields. Uh-oh. There is, however, a zombie somewhere to the north. He is inside. That's Farmer John up there. He is hostile and uninjured. Let's check out what we've got going around here. A whole bunch of withered plants. Doesn't look like there's anything worth going to see at the moment. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know if I really care too much about this place. Considering that all that's... Ugh, wolf. You gotta be kidding me. There's a couple of them too. Yeah, I I don't care about this place anymore. I really do not care. I am getting the hell out of here. This is this is just really dangerous and it looks like the wolves might be following me. Please don't be following me. I've only got a nail board. Leave me alone. I need a better weapon. I am going to die a miserable death out here. This is this is probably exactly how things would go for me in the zombie apocalypse. Is I would uh, I'd manage to make some kind of makeshift weapon out of something, and then I would immediately be eaten by wolves. It would be fantastic. All right, let's just keep on heading over here and see if we can't find anything. I really want to go to that strange temple. Ooh, what's that down there? Parking lot. You know what? We're going to go back, and we're going to head for that parking lot. A cast! Okay. Apparently Tipsy's following me out here in the uh, midst of the wastes. 
Sorry, Tipsy, I can't help you anymore. There is no more Petco or PetSmart, and I just can't buy you any food. And it looks like this place is trapped. This place is most certainly full of uh, traps. That's great. What do we got in the middle over here? We've got a buried bear trap along with a tin of ravioli and other items. Shotgun trap, spike board. I would probably end up getting my leg shot off if I tried to open that up. What is this? This is a bear trap. That tells me that most of this is probably trapped all the way across here. Do I dare try to see what's in that ravioli thing? Well, let's go with this. So there's a lot of food here, but none of it is really anything that I care about. Um, if there was actual weapons or something here, I might be interested. What the hell is with these giant mosquitoes? I've never seen these things before, and now I'm just seeing them everywhere. Where are they? It must be because of this swamp land. Well, hell. How the hell am I going to get down to this strange temple if I can't get by the swamp land? What is this, anyway? A mine entrance. Ooh. If I could get, like, a pickaxe or something. Okay, I'm going to try... Sneaking on up here and hopefully not stepping in any traps. So I really don't want to uh, to deal with traps. But I want to check out this mine entrance and see if I can't find some neat things. What is this anyway? A manhole cover. Is this gas pumps? Yeah, gas pumps. No, I don't want to use that. That's cool and all, but... Uh, no thanks. Is there a way into this? Not from this side. Do I really have to go to a manhole cover to get there? No, I can go through here. Just leave me alone, mosquitoes. There's a terminal here. Access is denied. Well, I know a little bit about uh, computers. Let's see if I can bypass it. And alarm sounds. Great. That's going to attract some shit. Let's get out of here. Jeez, there's a lot of mosquitoes. Let's just try to stick away from those mosquitoes as much as possible. And, oh man, I can't turn on safe mode. Still can see the giant mosquitoes. Well, so far it doesn't look like the giant mosquitoes are um, paying attention to me. They actually might be um, ignoring. Let's see here. No, they're hostile. They're definitely hostile. Okay, well, we got down to a new road. What do we got down here? We got a muffler. That nice little thing on the road is a muffler. I'm gonna go ahead and grab some strawberries for myself. Because I do not see any giant mosquitoes here, so I... No, oh, it's an apple. Which means this is an apple tree. I want apples. Mmm, yum, 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 yum. Let's go ahead and eat that fresh apple. See how we're doing. We enjoyed an apple. All right. Um. No, I'm not down to the temple yet. I thought I was already down far enough, but apparently not. So let's continue on down here until we can get to this temple. This must be strawberries. Yep. Alright, let's... Not that. Almost at the temple. Hopefully there's not like a giant zombie... beast god thing here. I wouldn't want to run into something like that. That would just be my luck, wouldn't it? Alright. Gotta be something down here. Hmm. Okay. What is this? What indeed is this strange temple? A pedestal? A metal crate? Huh. Okay. 
This pedestal is engraved in eye-shaped diagrams and has a large semi-spherical identat. Somehow I think there's supposed to be more to that. Um, let's see here. How do I view the logs again? What was it? Yeah, there we go. Indentation on the top. Interesting. So probably what I need is something that will allow me to um, to place it there. I just don't know what I would be able to place there. I don't know. Let's try dropping a rock on it. <laughs> That's kind of spherical, right? Let's let's do it. We shall drop the rock on you. We put the rocks in the pedestal. And nothing. Can I go down this? Nope. I don't know what this is. I have no clue. That's interesting, but I have no idea how to get into it or what you need to do with it. Um, I would love to get into it if I could, but I do not have the knowledge to go into that temple. Grab those strawberries on our way out of here. I think I'm going to go ahead and eat those strawberries and hope they get rid of a little bit of my thirst. Yeah, there we go. Okay, let's see what we've got going on on the map. What do we have down here? Is that a crater? That's a crater. Okay, random craters, either from missiles or, I don't know, zombie spaceship crash landing? Could be anything. Let's see, we've got a muffler and a 31 inch wheel. Wow, that's very big. And I'm thirsty again. I need to find a town or a small shack or something and hope that it has water in it. Okay, well, we are moving far, far away. But uh, at this rate, we're going to die of hunger. In the, um, the old version, you couldn't actually die of hunger, but in this version, you definitely can. There's a rock there. Okay, well, down we continue. I want to find a different town. I would like to leave Trucky McTruckerson's town behind. What have we stumbled across? A hazardous waste? Great! That's just what I need. Sarcophagus? I don't know if that's what it's trying to say here, but, um, uh, reading glasses, huh? Desk? Well, we have found something. This looks like, um, a gate here. The door is locked. Let's smash the window and clean it out. Okay, well, we got a counter here. Um, got a fire extinguisher. Reading glasses. Not very helpful. Um, well, we're inside. Whether or not that's a good idea, I don't know at the moment. Because we could very well find a whole bunch of zombies in here. Of course, there's also hazardous waste in here somewhere. Guessing this is an impassable fence. Yes. Smashable, though. What's all this stuff? Um. Let's see. Bunch of desks, chairs, um. Reading glasses and other items. Well, let's smash. Uh oh. Uh-oh, there's some movement. I don't like the sound. Uh-oh! We've got sounds. And we're coming down because we've got that thirst kicking our ass here. 
Sadly, I can't go to that thirst to find out what's going on with it, exactly. Well, I found some aspirin. I might as well take that. Is there anything in here? Found a mop. Ooh, a plastic bottle. At the very least, I could maybe use that. Sewing kit. Um, no. I don't want to drop my nail board. Uh, great. We found toilet water. Well, I am thirsty, so... Sadly, toilet water it is. Ugh. Nasty. And now we have got zero strength, for whatever reason, and a huge lacking of intelligence. We are poisoned and food poisoning. That's great. That is fantastic. So we are pretty well screwed over right now. But I really needed the, uh, the liquid. Reading glasses, we got some more aspirin. I got bubble wrap. Awesome. Just what I need. Um, batteries. That's kind of nice. Oh, a can of cola, of course. Of course I would find something like that in the next room. Ah, and of course I can't even pick it up. Alright, I'm going to drop that for a second. And we are going to drink that and we are going to drop our aluminum can. I should have probably turned that on. Where the hell is my my board? Oh, somehow I put it over there. Yes, I would like to switch. Login successful. What do we got going on? SRCF security terminal root menu. Security reminder. All staff. Uh, Constantine Dorvac or something? Undersecretary of Nuclear Security. I want to remind everyone on staff, do not open or examine containers above your security clearance. If you have some question about safety protocols or shipping procedures, please contact your SRCF administrator or on-site military officer. When in doubt, assume all containers are Class A biohazards and highly toxic. Take full precautions. Oh, this is fantastic, isn't it? From today onward, medical wastes are not to be stored anywhere near radioactive materials. All containers are to be rearranged according to these new regulations. If your facility currently has these containers stored in close proximity, uh, you are to work with armed guards on duty at all times. Report any unusual activity to your administrator at once. Worker health and safety is our number one concern. As such, we are instituting weekly health examinations for all employees. Report any unusual symptoms or physical changes to your administrator at once. Uh, all compromised facilities will remain under lockdown until further notice. Anyone who has seen or come in direct contact with the creatures is to report to the home office for full medical evaluation and security debriefing. Hmm. Password required, huh? For the EPA, report all potential contaminant breaches. Jeez, we have uh, certainly uncovered something. Let's try and hack. Oh, it looks like we got in just fine. Um, Robert Shane, director of the EPA. All hazardous waste dumps and sarcophagi must submit three samples from each operational leech system to the following addresses. CDC Bioterrorism Lab Building 10, Corporate Square Boulevard, Atlanta, Georgia, EPA Region 8 Laboratory, blah blah blah. These samples must be accurate and any attempts to cover incompetencies will result in charges of federal... Cor I think that means corruption, but that's not how you spell corruption. And potentially treason. Alright, from Robert Shane there. Let's try number six. Another password required. Let's try to hack it. 
this is some seriously easy hacking if you ask me. Um, Director Grimes has released a new series of accusations that will soon be investigated by the Congressional Committee. Uh, below is message, or is the message that he sent myself. Subject is the investigations, blah blah blah, Robert Shane. To the EPA, or the EPA has opposed the Security Restricted Containment Facility, SRCF which is apparently uh, related to SCPs or something, I have no idea, a project. From its inception, we were horrified that these facilities would be constructed so close to populated areas and only agreed to sign off on the project if we were allowed to freely examine and monitor the sarcophagi. But that has not happened. Since then, the DOE has employed any and all means to keep EPA agents from visiting the SRCFs using military secrecy, emergency powers, and interdepartmental gag orders to surround the project with an impenetrable thicket of red tape. Although our agents have not been allowed inside, our atmospheric testers in nearby communities have detected high levels of toxins and radiation, and we found dozens of potentially dangerous unidentified compounds in the groundwater. We now have conclusive evidence that the SRCFs are a threat to the public <clears throat> uh, safety. Uh, we are taking these data should be like this data, I imagine, uh, to state representatives and petitioning for a full congressional inquiry. They should be able to force open your secret vaults and the world will see what you've been hiding. If you had any hand in this outbreak, I hope you rot in hell. Director of the EPA, Robert Shane. All right, well, we'll read the rest of this stuff uh, next time, starting with the CDC internal memo. Bye for now, everyone.